Thank you very much, gentlemen. What I wanted to point out was, obviously, with the court uh, judgment that was handed down today concerning the Tweed case, I think it was very important to express our response to it. What was very clear in the uh, judge's judgment, in the CJ's judgment, was the fact that the assertion that I was biased in the determination of the case has been totally rejected. So I'm very, very pleased about that. Uh, what he said is that he felt that I actually made it a point to operate under a, a principled uh, position, and I think I'm very pleased about that. Obviously, he found some shortcomings with respect to procedural matters, which we will have to look at to make the determination as to how best to rehear this uh, particular application. What I think is important is when he, uh, when the judge had asked that we, or had suggested that um, there were some things procedurally incorrect, what is unclear and what I have to take um, legal advice on is the fact that my procedures require me to be seized of a file when an application is made within one month of the expiry of an existing permit. And that's exactly what I did. So I'm not certain how we are supposed to juxtapose that position against what my procedures are. So as a result, in order not to fall afoul of the judge's judgment, I need to ensure that I take legal advice in terms of how to ensure that a, a relook at the situation doesn't um, negate what the law, what the judge has, has ruled the law to be. So that's very important to us, and I will make sure. The other thing that I have to take legal advice of, to be absolutely certain, is how we as a department deal with a, people who do not apply and do not conform with the policies, and secondarily, how to deal with matters where people basically are um, untruthful on their applications. So I think these are things that I have to take advice from, uh, have to take legal advice from, in order to be satisfied that a relook at the procedure is appropriately dealt with.